learning hybrid photography one day at a time. Become a smarter photographer every day at discovermirrorless.com. It's free and phone and tablet friendly. Hey guys, it's Rob for discovermirrorless.com. I'm working on a hybrid photography project tonight that I thought you might be interested in. I've already got my photos and my videos imported into Lightroom and I've pretty much got everything dialed in the way that I like it. So I'm going to get everything organized um, inside of Lightroom in the library module and then upload it to ProShow Web to put together my final hybrid eScape presentation. So check it out. So the first thing I'm going to do is trim this clip. It's a 30 second clip and I'm actually going to take the, uh, I'm going to uh, go forward in the video. You can see the first several seconds of the video nothing's really happening and then I start to pan across the frame so I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna hit shift I and that's gonna set the end point and now that is where this video is actually gonna start so now if I hit play it's gonna start from that point uh, and play on so it's a pretty slow pan and it lasts several seconds so I'm actually gonna stop it I like the little lens flare crossing the frame and I'll probably stop it about right there and then hit shift O to set the out point. Now when I export this video out of Lightroom that's all that it's going to show me is that that little piece. It's going to trim off the ends and uh, just show me the piece of video that I like. Now we can't open a video in the develop module but um, there's a little bit of a workaround here. So I'm going to click this little button uh, in the video and capture a frame. Okay, so what that's going to do is give me down here in the film strip a JPEG that's basically one still frame for my movie. Okay, so of course I can edit a JPEG in the develop module, no problem. So I'm going to go to develop, um, and all of these settings won't apply to my video. I'm going to show you in just a minute what exactly will apply, but um, I'm going to use the uh, white clipping slider and pull that down a bit just to pull the sky in some and then I'm going to add a little bit of blue here uh, as far as the white balance goes to cool this off. So there's before and there's after. Not a huge difference. Let me bring the whites down just a little more. Get a little more detail in these trees here uh, along the horizon. Okay, so there's before, there's after. Now I'm going to hold the shift key and click on my video in the film strip and hit the sync button. And now you can see exactly what can and can't be applied to your video. Uh, everything that's grayed out is not going to be applied to the video. You can't, can't do those, those edits inside of the develop module. Uh, like I said, white clipping, yes. Highlights and shadows, no. Um, exposure, contrast, color adjustments. So I hit synchronize. And now my video is updated to the same settings that my still frame has. So I go back to the grid view by pressing the G key and uh, double click on the video and there it is with the white balance adjustment and the uh, white clipping adjustment applied to it. Okay I've selected my videos and my still images that I want to put into my hybrid eScape and uh, put them together in a quick collection. Now I've already gotten them in the order that I want to put them in uh, in my finished eScape. Okay, I'm going to press shift tab to hide the side panel so you can see a little more real estate here. Um, I like to put them in order inside of Lightroom so I can get a feel for how everything's going to go. So I'm going to start with this sort of abstract steam off of the lake image and then a little more detail and then uh, I'm going to get into some detail shots of uh, this is actually some, uh, some frost on some grass growing up through the lake. Uh, it kind of indicates the temperature. It was a cool morning, so I, I think that helps to set that mood. And then uh, this image with the, the warm morning light on the house. And then another video. And another image uh, that I feel like conveys the, the feeling of the morning. It's the, the first light hitting the barn, um, and uh, it's just sort of a cool, frosty morning. Uh, a little more steam on the lake and then uh, sort of the finished shot of the steam on the lake with the barn in the background and uh, kind of tying it all together. So when I'm working on a hybrid eScape I think of it more like an enhanced photograph than I do like a documentary. I usually start with four or five still images and three or four video clips 
and arrange them so that there's a rhythm and a flow to the presentation. So from Lightroom, I'm going to upload these images and videos into ProShow Web and decide on the transition between the frames and uh, pick some music and go from there. So we'll do that next time, and I'll see you then. Learning hybrid photography one day at a time. Become a smarter photographer every day at discovermirrorless.com. It's free and phone and tablet friendly.